Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sketching and painting a famous corner in Montmartre, Paris. This little pink house is a restaurant called La Maison Rose, which a hundred years ago was frequented by Picasso and Dali. I was attracted to pictures of this little corner not due to the history, but because it looks like a very interesting corner with the mishmash of old and new buildings, the ivy covering the walls, which always makes houses seem so idyllic, right? And also the sort of triangular shape of the pink house. So I looked up some photos as reference and just started sketching. If I could have traveled to Paris and gone to this exact same spot to sketch for three to four hours, I would have really loved that. But um, I was lucky enough to go to Paris once and we did not have leisure time to sit in one spot for even an hour. So if I wanted to do that I probably would have to travel alone and I probably would need a very nice time schedule for sketching and just you know relaxing in one spot so since I didn't have that luxury I just decided to sketch this at home so technically this is not real urban sketching where you typically sketch on site with or without a bunch of people so let's just call this sketching and it's basically my budget-friendly way of virtually traveling to a beautiful place I started out with a rough pencil outline and used a fine liner for the inking so this is a more complicated piece than the ones that I did before in my previous videos. So I won't be talking about every single step, but just some of the concepts and process of this piece. So if you would like a step-by-step -step video of a more simple subject, you can check out my other videos in my channel. For this piece, I started with the main subject, which is the house in the middle, and I worked my way outwards. So the main focal point has more details, while the things that are further away have less details. I like being looser when sketching, one, because it's more interesting to the viewer, and two, you don't have to draw every single thing inside because the eye and mind will sort of fill in the details. So this is also a real time saver for when you sketch on location and don't have lots of time. So I started painting this sky using a wet on wet technique which creates soft clouds. This part is one of the most satisfying parts to paint. Although it can be a little bit unpredictable. So I wet the paper with water first and added paint to the wet surface. If you observe the sky and pictures of the sky, you will notice that clouds have like a direction to them and there is like an order in the chaos of nature but you have to pay attention and try not to just paint random clouds next I paint some of the greens before the sky completely dries. This is to create soft edges that naturally bleed into the sky. The ivy on the walls is also done with a wet-on-wet -wet technique, 
where I blend lighter greens with darker greens. I also create some hard edges that look like leaves hanging over the windows and also the wall. Here I added some burnt sienna to make it look like the leaves are starting to change color. Next, I painted the roof of the house a light blue, which is a mixture of ultramarine and compost blue. I painted the house walls a very light shade of pink, which is a mixture of John Brilliant, Vermilion and Crimson Lake. These are the base layers for the house. Then I painted the rest of the buildings a light beige color and added more greens to the right side. Then I painted the roofs on the left side a dark brown color and I added more blue for the railings, the rooftops and also the windows. Then I proceeded with the green windows and the plants on the window sills. At this point, I started to add shadows with a mixture of ultramarine and burnt sienna. Then I added a second layer of pink, which is more saturated, to the left side of the house. After that, I just kept adding more shadows and color to increase the contrast and saturation of the house. When painting or creating something like this, all your thoughts just go out the window and all that you're left with is the brush, the paint and the subject right before you. We used to be allowed to do nothing and just observe the world around us without needing to be productive every moment to be constantly entertained or doing something. So when I sketch and paint, I am allowed that again, to really be in the moment, to look at the things around me and to truly enjoy that moment in time. When creating something, I am not looking at my phone, and checking how many likes I got or who messaged me or how the stock market is doing 
and trying to do anything and everything in the shortest amount of time possible. I'm just painting and I'm just reveling in that moment, enjoying the color, the light, and the subject. For me, painting like this is a lesson in observation. I learned to see things that I never appreciated before because of painting. It's not just about the result, it's about the journey, the process. We will never be perfect. No one's life is perfect, but we can try our best and enjoy the view while we can. Our life is not measured by how much money we have or what items we have. We can't bring it with us when we die. But instead, it is how well we have lived in the little time that is given to us. Slowing down is not easy in our world today, but I found a way and I hope you do too. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.